Hello, welcome to my video professionals FTP. Today we'll go over how things work. We designed this because every web developer probably needs to FTP their site data to the web server using FTP. Okay, let's get started. We have set up FTP to store as many FTP addresses, login and passwords you need. They all will be displayed in the drop-down at the top of the page. First you want to enter an identifier, something that will be listed in the drop-down. Next enter your FTP server address. Then enter your FTP login and FTP password. Hit save. If there is a problem you can delete and start again. These files are stores and encepted into an XML file stored on your PC so they are safe and secure. Once this is saved we want to load the data from your PC's folders and files and your FTP directory. See the box with the three dots, click this and it will bring up your PC's file explorer. Select the directory where you have the files you want to upload to your FTP server. Here you can select directories or sub-directories. This path will be listed in the text box on your screen. Now click the button load directories and server files. Now once loaded you will see all your files that you selected listed in the box on the left. All your FTP files that are on the FTP server will be listed in the box on the right. It is very important to follow these steps because these will be needed to upload, download, delete and upload all. You can click the load server files button anytime to refresh this list as long as the proper FTP server is selected. Sometimes the FTP server may go down and things do not seem to working properly click the refresh page in the bottom right. The will reset the page as if you just started. Now we are going to upload and download a file. First we want select a file you want to upload in the directories on the left and then select an FTP directory on the right where you want to upload the file to. Once selections are made click the upload button with the green up arrow. Once we are notified the upload is complete we are going to click the load server only files to refresh the FTP list so we can check to see if the file is there. Okay, after we verify the file has actually uploaded, let's reverse the process and click on the uploaded file then click on the directory in your local directories where you want to download the file to. Next click the download button, the green down arrow. Here we will click the load directories and server files button to refresh the directories so we can check to make sure the file downloaded. Finally we are going to delete the file we uploaded to the FTP server. You will go down and select that file in the FTP server list, then click the delete button. You will be prompted if you are sure and show you the file to delete. Yes we'll delete that file. We will refresh the server FTP and check to make sure it is gone. Last but not least the upload all button, this will upload all files in that local directory to your selected FTP server. If the directory exists it copy the contents to the server. If the directory is not there it will create an FTP directory then copy the contents there. Come see us at www.myvideoprofessionals.net or com.